Morning YouTubers, uh, Bruce here from the Cool Gear Rush. Today I am going to uh, do a little bit of an abbreviated uh, with photos as to how I got uh, my uh, fridge installed, the fridge venting. You get a see here where the fridge is going to go, and there it is. So there's a kind of a little bit of a butt to this uh, unit here, because when you're installing these things, they have minimum sizes for the for the vent sizes themselves to supply fresh air for the fridge and then it's going to exhaust out the uh the ceiling part up <coughs> top there and get the airflow so you got to have a clear opening because that's what they require for the the proper safe use of these you know uh, rv fridges and i had to cut out some studs and i'm going to show you not as i'm reinforcing what i've done but i'm going to show you how i've done it and how I've taken my practical construction knowledge in, uh, say, home construction and uh, turned that into how I can uh, restructure the actual uh, the, the trailer body. Because I'm Okay, so another little quick uh, step here to show you what I did to create a, so what you would call like a header in construction, uh, residential construction. Um, as I mentioned to before, I had to cut out the studs. So one being a box, be uh, box uh, square tube stud, and then another one being a hat trap. Most structural. So what I've done is you can see there's some existing uh, stud lines that come up and down there, and there's another one across here. So just by the uh, old screws. So what I did is I have I have peel uh, premium glue all in behind the uh, this panel, uh, and then what I've done is I've screwed it to the actual plywood, which is which is not holding uh, structurally so much as you could say that what it is, what it's all doing is it's transferring the weight of the missing two studs across to the outside and then spreading the weight over to the framing that I've put in and then down to the, the lower uh, base. Uh, it is in and ready. And I should mention when I framed this up, I read the instructions on the uh, how much room the, 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 the fridge needs. It's called up for a maximum of 24. I built this thing 20, uh, 24 and three quarters because I knew I was going to be putting in a, uh, a header like this. So, that, you know, now I'm down to 24. 24 is good. I've, the actual unit itself is a lot less, uh, but this is what they call for like minimums, maximums and stuff like that. So next step is the uh, ceiling roof venting that I'm going to need to cut into up here. So stay tuned, stand by. Okay, so hey, welcome back. I am using this product, uh, it's called Eternabond. It is a, a, a foil, uh, sticky back, rubber sticky back product. It works really good. It's a little, there's a little bit of a challenge with it though. When you're working with it, you gotta be uh, very precise where you put it down. And so I found the easiest way to get your, your side edges and, and things like that. And it's all about lapping your, your uh, Eternabond roofing product. Uh, you start at the back because the wind is driving as you're as you're driving the vehicle. The wind is coming across this way, so you start at the back. You go to your to your sides and you cap it off at the front there, something similar to that. So there we have. Um, and let me just show you a little technique I learned. So this stuff is super sticky. Uh, it's not sticky right now, but you peel this uh, plastic off, and you will find that uh, it becomes super sticky. You have one chance. You have one chance to put it down. So what I've always done in the past is you just peel off exactly what you need. Just basically what you need with it. It's super sticky to the touch. And you will just you get one chance to put it down and put it in right. So I kind of pre-bend my stuff. And just this, this kind of like the head piece of um, your turn and bond. I'm going to cut the size. And like I said, you got one chance. You put it down and it's wrong. You're not pulling it back up. And it's all about the uh, the laps in the product. So, and using the, ooh, super sticky. So you run this up here, and then you just work it in there very well. It goes in uh, nice and tight. And what I use is either the you don't use metal on it because metal just pierce the uh, foil. You use plastic. So you can either use a piece of plastic like this in the handle, or you can use a little paint paint stick like that to just apply it down like that. So. You get it set on your head there, and then you just peel off the bottom piece like so. And again, you, with one chance to use it, you start in the middle and you start working your way out. You, 
you want it to form to all of your deviations in the in the roof there so pretty easy product they say it's a, a put it down and forget it type of thing which uh, I have to agree the stuff that has been on this trailer already has been good it's a 2012 trailer in uh, and you just keep find the stuff on just work it from the center out just keep working the um, the ridges out and you get it to that point there I use my handy dandy little knife and you just drag it across there get the right part and again one chance it's not that bad it's quite easy it's it's a good product it's expensive I think it was about a hundred bucks a roll yeah it's a hundred bucks a roll at my uh, the local Fraserway RV I bought a lot of stuff from them the good people they're here in Abbotsford they are uh, they know a lot about trailers they got a lot of product and they're good and helpful and I like dealing with them nice people so there we go almost done work your your seams out you work it in there you come along afterwards you push your get all your points in there you work it all out you work it down that way you get a nice tight seal I'll uh, I'll spend some more time working on this but you get the picture you can see what I'm doing good product it's good and waterproof it's got a good seal and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be going up and around the, uh, the on the edge of it over here all the way around the seams with some self-leveling stuff some self-leveling uh, product that's a uh, gunnable and uh, so just to give it an extra seal around there I'm going to do a little bit of lapping on my of this product on the Eterna Bond on the corners because the corners are obviously subject to uh, the seal and uh, a poor seal should I say so I'm just going to wrap a little piece around here and then I'm going to run a bead of caulk around the whole thing later on. So, and it's all done, but she'll all be set and she'll be waterproof and she'll be good to go. So there we have one little quick step on the roofing of with a, a turn bond around the uh, fridge bent, roof bent. So there we have it. Get back to you shortly. So there we have it. That's the, uh, the, in the install for the fridge vent up top on the roof there so I got a little carried away with the uh, roofing product and I ran a little short of course now I'm only uh, like two feet short so I got to spend another hundred dollars on a two foot roll for a two foot piece oh well life goes on so there we have it hey youtubers okay so I'm back now and I'm ready to do a dry run on the fridge itself in the uh, the hole here so here's what we got you saw my earlier video explain the the lower grill explain the the header that I created and I have also got the uh, basically it's like a closure it's a plywood closure for the air that's going to be the hot air that's going to be contained back there so the air you know obviously hot air rises creates a uh, convection so it comes in at the bottom and goes out at the top so upstairs there we have got a uh, the the vent that I put in yesterday, you've seen the videos on that. So I should mention to you uh, how important it is to uh, to make sure that the, the opening is correct. Uh, I will be, after I in, do a dry run here, I'm gonna be putting some foam tape on here, 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 and coming down there, all the way around there to try and create this back area as being its entire uh, airtight area. So the, all the hot air from the, the, uh, from the actual, uh, fridge itself is going to be contained into that back area so just for safety and I will have foam tape on the bottom foam tape all around just to prevent any um, uh, whether it's a propane leak itself or carbon monoxide everything is well sealed into that back area super important didn't say anything about it in the instructions I don't think I think I'm making more of it than I needed to but at the end of the day uh, safety first so stay tuned you'll see the fridge in okay YouTube I'm back uh, fridge is in. Uh, I've got the gas and the electrical just to run to it, but other than that, it's all in. It's all trimmed. Really happy the way it all turned out, and I uh, hope you appreciated this video. If you did, uh, give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you did like it, and if you want to get more of these videos as they come out, uh, please subscribe. That's what uh, YouTube is all about, getting viewership, likes, subscribes, 
and whatnot. So, hey, and leave a comment. Always interested in hearing what people have to say. Anyway, verse from the Kool Giraj out.